President Biden testing positive for COVID. This as we're seeing an uptick in cases across the country. He's reported to have minor symptoms and is resting. President Biden is double vaccinated and boosted. He reportedly started having symptoms Wednesday and tested positive this morning. We'll have a more detailed report later on the show on his status. The president is the latest example of a rapid rise in COVID cases, which we're also seeing in the Commonwealth. Bodie Brooks taking a closer look at the numbers and what medical experts are saying about the risk. Bodie. Yeah, guys, this is news no one wants to hear, especially a month out from school starting. But more and more counties are reporting cases, and they're coming at a faster rate. The good news is far fewer people are having long stays in the hospital, and things like mask mandates are less likely to return. We've got a lot more red, we've got a lot more yellow, and we have very little green. There is a lot of COVID out there. It was only last spring when Kentucky was touting a COVID map filled with green. Then a slow climb, rising and returning the state back to a positivity rate of more than 17%. It has decreased in terms of its danger for most people. But that doesn't mean it's a zero risk, so it doesn't mean we need to be haphazard with it. As Dr. Ryan Stanton explains, this current variant of COVID is far easier to spread. But except in rare cases, recovery comes in days. The thing with the BA.4 and the BA.5 is, is you can still get infections even if you've had the vaccine. Uh, it really is about protecting against the complications of COVID uh, more than anything. That's why more vaccinated people are getting infected. Senate President Robert Stivers appearing Thursday after testing positive over the weekend. I've just come out of um, COVID protocols having been quarantined for the last five days. And as schools prepare for the return from summer break, a spokesperson for the Department of Education telling me decisions around protocols are presently local determinations. The school districts I reached out to, like Woodford County, are planning on a return to normal. I want as normal of a school year as we can get. And still, you'll continue to see cases rise. Dr. Stanton says it's common to see viruses spike when kids go back to school. And now that includes COVID. Uh, this is not the point where I feel like uh, we're, we're need, we need to lock down or, or shut everything down. Dr. Stanton said mask wearing is still recommended if you are someone who is at risk. But he says regardless, the best prevention for an extreme case is being fully vaccinated. Marvin Imani.